Hi guys. Hi Cora. Hi Bonnie. Hi Henry. This book is called Hurry Hurry Mary Dear by N. M. Bodecker. Hurry, hurry, Mary dear. Hurry, hurry, Mary dear. Fall is over. Winter is here. These days are going to be coming. Winter's not here yet. Today it's warm, but it's coming soon. Not a moment to be lost. In a minute, we get frost. I can't read backwards. In an hour, we get snow. Drifts like houses. Ten below. Pick the apples. Dill the pickles. Chop the tree for wooden nickels. Wooden nickels? Dig the turnips. Split the peas. Cook molasses. Curdle cheese. Churn the butter. Smoke the hams. Can tomatoes. Put up jams. That Mary, she's kind of busy. Stack the stove wood. Grandpa and I have been doing that. Stack the stove wood. String the beans. Up the storms and down the screens. Did your mommy or daddy take down storm windows, take down screens and put up storm windows? Getting ready. Pull the curtains, close the shutters. Dreadfully, the wild wind mutters. Oops. Oil the snowshoes. Stoke the fires. Soon the roads are hopeless mires. Mend the kittens, knit the sweaters. I said mend the kittens. I mean, mend the mittens. I read it wrong. Mend the mittens, knit the sweaters, bring my glasses, mail my letters. Toast the muffins, brew the tea, hot and sweet and good for me. Bake me donuts, plain and frosted. Hey, we know who makes donuts, Grandpa. Hmm? What, my dear? You feel exhausted? Yes, these winters are severe. Hurry, hurry. Mary, dear. Did you see what happened in that book? The man, her husband, I guess, was telling her all the things that she should do to get ready, ready for winter. But he sat in his chair and just relaxed and didn't help her. That's why, at the very end of it, she balked him and put, at the very end, she got tired of it, she balked him and put this teapot 
over his head for giving her so many instructions. Well, that might have been a little extreme, but he might have been being extreme too. Anyway, hurry, hurry, Mary dear. And Cindy, my friend who's the librarian, showed me. You might look for it again. I'm not going to read the whole book again. But she said, if you watch, in each picture, Mary's nose gets redder and redder. I don't know if that happens when she's mad or what. But see, in this picture, it's just plain. But as her husband keeps giving her chores to do, Look, she's chopping the trees. Look at her nose. A little bit redder. She digs the turnips. She splits the peas. She cooks molasses. She curdles the cheese. She churns the butter. And she smokes the hams. She puts up jams. She cans tomatoes, puts up jams. Mend the mittens, knit the sweaters. Her nose is getting redder and redder. And her husband's saying, Oh, would you bring my glasses and mail my letter? By the end. Oh. When he says, What, my dear? You feel exhausted? Look how red her nose is there. I think she's getting a little angry. Because she's been doing all the work. So the lesson in this book is don't let any person do all the work all by themselves. If you're asking them to do things for you, please help them. Okay, love you guys. Mwah.